Janelle, why are you here? I'm here to find out what happened to my daughter. When my daughter was only um, uh, an infant, she was abused. Uh, I had taken her into the hospital. She had a life-threatening head injury. She had a few cracked ribs, and I believe it was her father. And subsequently, your child was taken away from you? Yes, she was. Um, and you won't get her back, right? No, I won't be able to see her ever again because of that. And you're here today to see if your boyfriend did it? Yeah. How do you think it happened? Well, he's very abusive and aggressive towards me and towards others, so I, I feel like he's did it. He, he doesn't have any patience whatsoever. And when this happened to your daughter and you were with him, how did he say the injuries happened? Well, he said he didn't know, but the majority of the time she was with me and him. And if you didn't do it, you would think that he yeah. did it? Yeah. And was there an investigation by CPS? Yes, there was. They, uh, they investigated, but neither of us knew who did it, so they, we had to So they, they took the baby away? Yes. I got to imagine that's pretty tough. Yeah. How old were you when this happened? I was 14. 14. So you were 14 and he was how old? 16. 16. You believe he was capable of doing those injuries? Yes. So you thought you do. Um, did he abuse you? Yes, he was physically abusive with me. And when, when you say he was physically abusive, what did he do to you? There was many times he's hit me. I had, called to, I had to call the cops on him. He's kicked me, punched me, choked me, slapped me, just <coughs> so much. Now, you're telling me all this, and I think, why, oh, why did you have another baby with him? I had left. <laughs> I left him before I found out I was pregnant with the second child. So you're not with him now? No. Okay. And you're... <laughs> and now you're raising this daughter? By myself. By yourself. Has he met his daughter? His yes, daughter? he's seen her, but every time he visits, he doesn't stay more than 20 minutes because she, she does, she's not used to him. She cries, he's impatient, he yells, and he just takes off. What are you hoping to happen today? I just want to find out what really happened. I hope he didn't do it, but if it is, he's not going to well, be in her life. This is your daughter now. Um, this is the second daughter. Yes. He took a lie detector test and um, obviously passes. That gives you some clearance of mind that he didn't do it. Um, but if he fails, then you pretty much know why yeah. your daughter was taken away. Uh, he's now with uh, somebody else. Mm -hmm. and. He had a baby with that person. Yes. Which, at 19, wow. Three kids. Three kids. Let's bring him up. Here's Rolando. I don't know what to say to you. Janelle, you took a lie detector test before the show? Yeah. And let's read your, your results. Have you ever physically abused your oldest daughter? You answered no, you told the truth. Did you cause any of the injuries that your daughter had? You answered no, you told the truth. So, you didn't do any of that. I got to imagine three years ago when you were 16 years old, um, she was 14, had a baby. Uh, you know, the two of you, 16 and 14, having a baby, even just saying it is uh, kind of hard. Were you physically abusive to your daughter? Yes. You were? Yes. Um, well, well, obviously, you have something to say to her. Why don't you say whatever you want to say? Well, you need to grow up. You need to, you need to stop. You need to stop Why, throwing How do I need to grow up? What did I do? I didn't physically because abuse what, my daughter. What, what I freaking okay, lost okay, my daughter okay, okay. because you. I, I can't I, ever see her again because of you. Okay, well, I'm 16. Do I, what do you want me to do? I was young, too. Oh, I didn't was know I any better. I was I going around hitting kids? Okay, but I didn't know any better either. And you know we were struggling. I was what? Yeah, we were struggling, but that doesn't okay, mean you have okay, to hit her. Okay, I wasn't even much thinking straight. I was doing drugs. What do you want me to do? She took a lie detector test and she passed. And instead of me reading your results and instead of focusing your anger on her, I was giving you a chance to tell her what happened without having to read your results. So you want to try that again? Well, 
Remember those days when you when you went to school? Mm -hmm. You left you left her, me, her, and your other family member? Yeah. Well those days they were pretty hard because you left her with me and I didn't you know, like you said, I don't have any patience. Yeah, I don't. But at least I tried. All that fuzziness, all that crying, and all and all the other stuff that's going on in my life, all the that everybody was giving me, it was too much. All that built up inside of me, and I took it out on her. You took your anger, you took your frustration. Uh, you know, 16-year-old boy, you know, basically beating up a baby, knowing that this baby was of your blood, your child, your daughter, and knowing that you'll never see her again, that she'll never be a part of your life. I regret all that stuff. I didn't know what to do. I was six, I didn't know any better. I had Well, I know, I know at the time you didn't know, but I'm saying now that now, you're 19, you have another child with her, you have a child with another that's woman. That's why I'm here to confess to her so she can earn how to trust me and let me, you know, let me what be a part of her life. What can you do to show me that, like, I trust you? You don't, you don't do anything. Cause you don't let me. What I you get, you get mad over the the, the stupidest tell me, things. Tell me something stupid that I And you throw it in I my face. I'm not gonna let you. Okay. I'm not. The fact is, I think she wants to hear from you why what you exactly did to the baby that the baby got taken away. I think you owe it to her. Um, I don't think now is to point the fingers because the baby's gone already. So pointing fingers at this point is not gonna help. But you did confess, and I could go over there and read the test. But why don't you now tell her what you did? I punched her, I shook her, I squeezed her. I want to hear this. <laughs> How in the world would this young girl ever trust you again? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> Can you relate to this story? Need my help? Call 1-888-STEVE-07. You shook your infant daughter on several different occasions. You squeezed your infant daughter and likely caused her to break her ribs. You confessed that you did this on several occasions. You punched her in the head on several occasions, causing her serious head injury. You were drunk in the room one day and bored. The infant was in the car seat on the floor. He was throwing his phone up in the air and hit the baby in the mouth causing her to have a busted lip. You have to live with knowing that you did this. I know I do. Um, you say that you've changed. How did you change? I think twice before acting. I Yeah, but see, that's nice to hear. But unless you went and got any kind of professional help, I don't think either one of these women should ever trust you with these children. And, and when you look back on it now, when you think about punching your baby in the face, squeezing her ribs and breaking her ribs. What, what does that make you feel like? It breaks me, it breaks my heart. You wanted some answer, and um, I, I think you answer. got some He's answer. He's not gonna be around her anymore. That um, you know, for two years, you denied this. You're finally coming up to the plate, and you're stepping up and admitting it. I think that's step in the right direction. She deserves that from you. And this is advice to you, advice to you, and advice to the other woman you have a child with. Trying to change within is one thing, but when it comes to anger and causing violence to other people, you probably need counseling, anger management, those things, because really until you trigger again, something really frustrates you, bores you, pisses you off, how do we trust you with another baby that you won't cause that baby on? I mean, I could scream at you right now. I could, you know, talk about how I'd love to kick your ass and throw you in jail. But that does, in this case, it does no good because you paid the ultimate price. You lost your first child, your first daughter. You're never gonna get her back. I hope that stays with you for the rest of your life. I hope that you climb whatever mountain in your life that you have to, to make sure that you never abuse any more, any more of your other children. <laughs> Be a good dad. You got two children, you're the dad. Get the help I told you about. And for now, get off my stage.
being 14 years old and being a young mother, I think you're probably too young to know how to protect a child and be in that situation. But you've lived through it, you're older now, and I think you really need to concentrate on focusing on protecting this child. And I wish you all the luck in the world. And I hope you take care of that. Good luck to you.